Hey guys, and welcome to my new video on Blood Hunter. So, today, we're, I'm going to be showing off a couple of things. We're going to be showing off Crimson Rite, Curse of the Mart, and Curse of Bloated Agony. Hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and check out Crimson Rite. So, for our Blood Hunter here, you can see that he's got equipped a longsword and a battle axe. So let's go ahead and show off Crimson Right. So for here, let's go head over to our features and then go ahead and trigger it. Let's go ahead and hit damage. And then so he takes his right damage and likes it. And then from here we get a list of all the weapons that he has equipped. So for here... Uh, he's got the longsword and the battle axe. If he had unarmed attack, that would not show up in the list unless he's a uh, lycanthrope, which then also he would have to be polymorphed. Uh, I actually do check for that. And then unarmed strike will actually be in the list if it is that. Uh, so let's go ahead and choose a longsword. And then for here, he's only ha he only has two rights at this time. So frozen and flame. So let's go ahead and choose frozen. And then now you can see that he's got the weapon. We go into his active effect. You can see here that it's right of the frozen and it's on the long sword. And then you see that on the duration, it will expire if he does a short rest or a long rest. And you know what? Just to break the game, let's go ahead and apply that to that uh, battle axe that he's got. But let's go ahead and choose flame for that one. And now, as you can see, go in the character, go into day. Now you can see right of flame, battle axe, and same with the durations. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, attack this zombie with the uh, longsword. Uh, he confirm hits. Let's do the damage. So from here, it's also written out where it says uh, right of the frozen, stealing cold damage. And the zombie's taking the two extra damage of cold and probably does not very well enjoy that. So let's go ahead and hit him with that battle axe. And then from here, you can see that it does right of the flame with fire damage and also doing the additional fire. Now, I have uh, the expanded part of the macro itself to support every single right uh, that is in d d Beyond, if you've uh, created any homebrew rights, uh, unfortunately it's not going to be able to pick those up. How I actually wrote this out, so when you're setting this up, you're going to go into Crimson Right, And in Crimson Right, you're just going to toss in that which rights that you know right here. So you're just going to go ahead and edit this. And then go ahead and just type in right of the whatever so if that was a legit one uh you know it would find it and then find a find the matching damage okay let's go ahead and check out bloated agony so for here we'll go ahead and target our zombie and go ahead and activate it uh, bloated agony so from here we can either choose the normal version or amplify it let's go ahead and amplify that and then, for this to take effect, we have to be on the extra thick zombie's turn. And then from the zombie, he's going to go ahead and attack our blood hunter. And, uh, oof, uh, critical. And then he'll go ahead and have a second attack. At that point, the zombie takes the effect of the curse, because it's if you make more than one melee attack or range attack against your target, you start taking the curse damage. So for here, uh, you can see that he suffered one point of damage uh, from it. And let's say if the zombie somehow had another attack, he would again uh, take the damage from the curse. Okay, for this one, we're going to go ahead and check out Curse of the Marked. And then let's go ahead and amplify it. So in this case, uh, I'm, we place a marker on our Blood Hunter, and then we also place a corresponding marker on the actual target. So until the end of your turn, 
whenever you deal right damage to that particular target, you get to uh, roll an additional hemo die. So in this case, since we've already marked up both of the weapons on here, it should deal... Oh man, that crit! So in this case, you can see here where it does uh, Right of the Frozen cold, and then the Blood Curse of the Marked triggers on top of that and deals an additional die of cold. But since we crit, so it's 2d4, 2d4. And our level of Blood Hunter is only level 2 here. So that's why it's uh, the d4 damage. And then if we were to do an attack with the other weapon... In this case, so both of them deal fire damage. As always, thanks for watching my video. And go ahead and like, subscribe, and share around with anyone you think that might be interested in this video itself. And I also want to give a special thanks uh, to all of my patrons. You guys, Southern Rock, and thank you so much for the support.